Okay, let's look at this question 10 from November 2018. It's an electrical field question. Okay, it says two points P and T are situated three millimeters apart in the electrical field of positive charge Q as shown below. Draw the electrical field pattern around charge Q. Now remember, electrical field at a point is the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at the point. So if it's a positive charge placed here, where is it going to go? It is going to be repelled because like charges repel. So the field will look something like this. There will be arrows leaving the circle at right angles. Okay, and that will be what your field is. The arrows must go outwards. They must not cross. They must leave the, um, the circle at right angles. That would be the field pattern for two marks. Now it says to you, the magnitude of the electrical field at point P is 4 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb, and at point T it's 2,5 times 10 to the 5 newtons per coulomb. So this makes sense. Remember, the field is the force experienced per unit of positive charge placed at that point. So if I put a 1 coulomb charge here, the field would be equal to the force at that point. Okay, And if I put a 1 coulomb charge, the field is equal to the force at that point. So it makes sense that this one at P is a big number and the one at T is a small number. Because can you check? This is times a million and this is times 100,000 newtons per coulomb. So close by, big force, far away, small force. Okay, now that's why I didn't draw all of these arrows here, so I can show you what's going on with the picture here. Now it says to you, calculate the ratio of the electrical field at point P to the electrical field at point T. So all you do is you go EP, okay, is to... ET, which is what they tell you to write, and then you take this value for P, it's 4 times 10 to the 6, okay, and then you say, what is it at ET, it's this value, and then you do what you do with any ratio, you put it in your calculator and you simplify it, and you will come out with a ratio of 16 is to 1. So at this point the force is 16 times stronger than it is at that point. Now it says to you calculate the distance between charge Q and point P. So you've got to think about this a little bit. We know from the formula here E equals KQ over R squared which means E is proportional to 1 over R squared. So it's inversely proportional to the square of the distance and you can see here 16 is a square number, okay? So then it's going to be that this is four times as strong as that because it's the inverse of it. So from looking at that, if I have to have a ratio of, if I root this, I end up with a ratio of four is to one. If you have a look here, if I added one millimeter here, we would be four millimeters. So then this is four times further than that because imagine one millimeter plus three millimeters gives you four millimeters. So at point T, it's four times further away and one over four squared is the same as one over 16. So the field here is 16 times weaker than the field here. So the answer, the short answer to this is that this is one millimeter, okay? So if you've got like some math sense and you know that this is varying by the square of the inverse square, you would say, okay, what's the square of, of 16? The square root of 16 is 4. And then this must be a total distance of 4. So this makes this a total distance of 1. But you have to then go and show this in some logical mathematical fashion. So you actually have to state that E is inversely proportional to R squared. Okay, so you state something like that, and then you say whatever this distance is here is so that it EP, okay, is when we inversely proportional to 1 over, say, R squared, if we call this little distance here R, and then ET is proportional to 1 over 
r plus 3. Okay. Hey, that's not in the right place. Over r, r plus 3. All squared. So, and then this is 16. Okay. And this is... 1. And so then by the magic of mathematics, you end up saying R equals 1 millimeter. So you need it to in some way show your reasoning, to show that the field is inversely proportional to the radius squared, that this one is 3 plus a distance, this is the distance R, and then you work it out to 1 millimeter. In the memo, what also happens is that... Um, they say, okay, well, let's just use this formula e equals kq over r squared, and you call this distance r, and then this one is r plus 3, and you make two, two sums, okay, using e at p and the e at t, where the e at p is, uh, um, the r is r, and the e at t, the r is r plus 3. So once you've got that in the formula, you can get them equal to kq. You take this up there and you get e r squared. And remember, e is in the question here. Remember, e is given here. And you get two equations, but then you end up with a very, very ugly quadratic equation that I think you have to factorize using that quadratic formula. The memo just goes, oh, look, he has an equation. He has the answer. And they don't figure out solving the problem. But if you had have done that without getting to one millimeter, you would have ended up with um, three of your four marks. Okay, But if you use the ratio thing, it's much easier. And then when it says you find the magnitude of charge Q, all you have to do is you get this formula e equals kq over r squared. Okay, And then you say, okay, let's put it here, e equals kq over r squared. That's not squared. Okay, so then they gave you, let's look at point P. The um, value at point P is this value. He has the E at P. Okay, so let's write here four point P equals nine times 10 to the power of nine K times Q all over all over r squared and the r was one millimeter so in meters that's zero comma zero zero one squared okay and then you just put that into your calculator and you come up with your answer i can work it out here I get 4,44 times 10 to the negative 10 coulombs. And then that's all you've done is you've just substituted the values in there and got your answer. And then that would be the magnitude of charge Q. And if you did it with, you can do the same thing with point T using this value for T and four millimeters for your R squared, you will come out with a, a charge at Q and then you're sorted.